Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. Today, we're going to begin with a reading of, of William Burroughs from a first edition of uh, The Trace of Dead Rose, which I discovered in Chiang Mai, Thailand, where I am at the moment, um, vacationing and thinking upon the techno-scientific world picture and contemplating the entire future of the human race. Um, the original title of this book was The Johnson Family, a turn-of-the-century expression used to designate good bums and thieves, which was later elaborated into a code of conduct. Uh, Johnson honours his obligations, notes Burroughs. His word is good, and he's a good man to do business with. Uh, Johnson minds his own business, will give help also when it is needed. If the Johnson represents the good, pitted against them are the short-sighted, ill-intentioned liars and fools who unfortunately tend to rule the earth. Obviously, Burroughs here is referring to the globalists. Kim Carson is a Johnson, an agent of the Johnson Code. He is also, without doubt, one of the most autobiographical of Burroughs' protagonists. In this work, Burroughs notes, Kim chooses the shootiest shortcut through the shootiest Old West. He is in the position of an agent, parachuted behind enemy lines to organize partisan cells. Finally, he's left with no alternative except to shoot his way out by blasting a hole in the fabric of reality itself. If you read my essay, uh, William Burroughs, on Affirmative Right, um, you will see my thoughts that William Burroughs is actually an agent of the new right. Um, uh, he was basically inventing, uh, uh, writing reports uh, upon the global situation and um, reporting on the future uh, to us um, revolutionaries and partisans of the future. Um, and I, as a futurist, um, that is where we are now at. Is why today's report was uh, a report on William Burroughs and the Place of Dead Rose, the first edition, which was found here in a wonderful moment of synchronicity here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And uh, Krab Kung Krab to you all.